Welcome to the Kingdom of Hajo Pongmas. The remarkable event of our union, the Battle of Nutrient, is now to begin. Who will contend for the throne at the end, and who will become the loser? Let's wait and see. Hajo Pongmas is the cultivation of the using soil. In this competition, two types of lettuce, roaming lettuce and red lettuce, will be cultivated in the Hajo Pongmas system under different concentration of nutrient. They will be separated into two campuses, Aspera 1 and Aspera 3. In order to find out the relative importance and function of the nutrient concentration on the two vegetables, Aspera 1 will be grown under 0.5 gram of nutrient, while Aspera 3 will be grown under 1.5 gram of nutrient. Round 1 Battle for Heights. After 30 days of planting, it is apparent that both romaine lettuce and red lettuce grown in A3 has a more obvious growth in heights than that in A1. The lettuce in A3 have an average 6.5 cm increase in height, but lettuce grown in A1 have an average 0.4 cm increase only. Round 2. Competing for the number of leaves. Both roaming lettuce and red lettuce in A3 have a larger number of leaves than that in A1. Obviously, A1 is now at a big disadvantage. Will it be able to turn the table and take a great revenge on its rival A3? Finally, the last round, a fight for surface area. Two types of lettuce that grow in A3 have a larger surface area than those grow in A1. The competition has come to the end. Unfortunately, A1 became the loser in this game. The winner of this battle goes to... A3. Congratulations! Through this game in the Virgil Kingdom, it is found that the growth of lettuce in the hydroponic system is highly affected by the nutrient level added. Even the photosynthesis can produce carbohydrate like starch as foods for the lettuce growth. Several macronutrients are required in order to sustain the healthy growth for lettuce. Protein, amino acids, nuclear acids are also the necessity for lettuce for this development. Therefore, additional supplies of minerals should be put into hydroponic system, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We discovered there are three periods in the growing process. The first experience a period of adapting to a new environment during day 1 to day 7. Since they are in poor condition, a preset standard amount of nutrients, 1 gram, is added to revive them to a healthy state and allow them to adapt to the new environment. Next, it will come to the second period in which the lettuce grows steadily from day 8 to day 20. The growth rate of the roaming lettuce and red lettuce is approximately the same in both Aspara 1 and Aspara 3. Lastly, in the third period, the growth rate of Roman lettuce and red lettuce in A3 surpassed that in A1. Last but not least, during the experiment, we have some interesting extra findings. Let's take the one that seems a little bit horrible to ladies first. In which we discovered that ants are found on the roots of plants. Remember, it is necessary to remove ants from the plants as it can harm the lettuce. What's more, we found burnt tips on the leaves of lettuce in asparagus free. Due to their high heights, they are closer to the light sources of the machine. So, the closer they approach the lights, the more extensive damage to the leaves. Although we found nutrient concentration is a pretty important factor affecting plant growth, other environmental factors can limit the growth of plants like temperature, existence of wind, and light intensity. We can't wait to explore more about the mystery of the hydroponic world. See you in the next investigation!